Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we are going to be reviewing two medical bags from Original Special Operations Equipment. Our buddy John over there sent us two vehicle, or sorry, two medical bags to review. One is the vehicle medical bag right here, and the other is the medical satchel. Um, you'll note that on both of these bags they have an awesome red handle at the top so you can denote those as medical bags. Um, Obviously, the vehicle medical bag is purpose-built for riding in the inside of a vehicle. Um, the medical satchel um, is more of a, I believe, a carry bag rather than a dedicated vehicle medical bag, but it can be used for that, and you'll see that in our photos, too, that uh, both of these fit great inside my truck. I tried them out. Um, they both work great as, a, as vehicle medical bags. One's just a little larger, can accommodate more stuff, as you'll see here in a second. But uh, just a couple of features on the outside I'd like to go over first before we get into the interior and the guts of the bag. Um, as you'll note on the top, they both have these red handles to delineate that they're medical bags, which I think is a great feature. And, and the handles actually uh, make great carrying handles as well as, uh, as well as hanging handles as well to hang up the bags. Now both have a uh, one inch carry strap on them, as you'll note here. And you can carry these bags as a standalone bag just over your shoulder with these straps. But uh, they both disconnect here with Fastex buckles. And you can just remove the carrying strap altogether if you don't want that. On the vehicle med bag, on the bottom you have these uh, four elastic slots here where you can stick some road flares. I didn't happen to have any on me. I just carry chem lights in my truck. so. Um, but you can stick road flares on the bottom here. Um, the outside is uh, molly webbing on the front, which is, what we got here, six columns by four, ch or was that, five channels of molly webbing on the front, which lets you mount tourniquets very easily to the front, but you could also mount pouches if you wanted to put tourniquets in pouches. Um, I personally like them on the outside of bags rather than in pouches. They're easier to get to, um, faster to get to as well. Um, then there's a... Uh, two inch wide strip of velcro at the top here for attaching patches. Obviously none of the medical equipment you'll see comes with any of the bags or the patches but this is just some stuff I threw together. On the back of the vehicle medical bag there's this great large storage pouch here which you'll see that I have let's see, I have a uh, combat gauze trauma pad which these are great by the way if you haven't seen these yet. Um, some halo seals and a couple of triage tags. Um, in vehicle medical bags, I, I like carrying triage tags rather than combat casualty cards just because that's kind of more the everyday situation you're going to encounter as a triage situation rather than uh, obviously a combat casualty. But I guess uh, if you're overseas, this vehicle medical bag could be filled with combat casualty cards if you're, you are riding with it overseas. But here in the U.S., more likely to run into a triage situation. Anyhow, let's go ahead and open up the vehicle medical bag, and I'll show you what I've got stuffed in here. So for starters, up at the top, what we've got is, well, the top and the bottom have some webbing slots here for that, uh, that fit needle decompression or decompression needles very easily. Um, these are the tubes that we use in our ETA kits to uh, ensure that when we vacuum seal the ETA kits, they don't get the... Uh, needles don't get crushed and poke through the vacuum seal which uh, also makes great containers to hold these things here in the, in the medical bag. Then we've got a couple bandages. These are the Olay's or I'm not sure how you pronounce it but the TacMed Solutions bandages. Um, this is a blast bandage in the middle. Outside on both sides has some elastic webbing where you can put some chem lights or some MPAs. Uh, works great for that. Then I've got a couple packs of combat gauze up here, and in this pouch I've just stuffed a couple of things of gloves there. Um, a couple of elastic bandages, pencil, and then uh, in these packages just some uh, Z-fold dressing, just some uh, regular gauze. But as you can see, it holds quite a bit, and for a you know small vehicle metal medical bag, this is uh, definitely a great way to store your stuff. I really like the way that this bag organizes everything very well um, as well as that large pocket on the back that I just showed where you can stuff all this stuff into stuff all the stuff 
But uh, one thing that's cool too is that it's got these small one inch tabs on the back on the rear side so you can actually, if you don't want to hang it by the carrying handle, you could uh, run some 550 through this or something and make a another carry strap. So a lot of different ways to mount this thing and hang it up and things like that. But uh, let's move into the medical satchel and I'll show you how I got that set up. Very similar. Um, on the outside you got molly webbing and on the back you got molly webbing so you could actually mount this pouch to something as well if you wanted to. Heck, you could really mount the smaller one right onto the larger med bag if you wanted to. Looks like there's enough room. Just thought of that. But uh, not sure why you'd want to have all that stuff. And probably go to a bigger bag if you were in that situation. But again, this uh, <clears throat> shoulder strap can disconnect on this bag as well. Um, I was looking online at the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, new medical satchels they OSOE has listed on their website. And it looks like they went to a D ring now instead of the uh, the Fastex buckles on the side, but as noted earlier, it's got a, a large red carrying handle as well. Molly webbing on the front and back where you can mount a tourniquet. Um, you can also shove some chem lights in molly webbing. Molly webbing works great for chem lights. As you'll notice on the inside of this bag, there is no um, elastic on the sides to mount those chem lights, so you're really left with mounting them on the front if you want to mount chem lights like that. So again, I've got a Olay's bandage, a blast bandage. Um, there are two pockets in this bag. One is right here behind this area, just like that. And then another is at the top where these halo seals are up here. So you've got another large carrying area back there. Now I've set this up very similar. Triage tag again, bandages, um, MPA, needle decompression, Got some H&H &H gauze, um, some Primet gauze here, NPA again, um, pack of combat gauze, and then behind here's a uh, little Israeli dressing, and then as you saw earlier, the halo seals here tucked in the back. So kind of a similar setup to the vehicle med bag, just a just a scaled down version that I was able to fit in the medical satchel. But all in all, these bags are really great. They organize really well. I really like the uh, the smaller elastic on top of the two inch elastic here, those are really great for MPAs and pencils and things like that. Just great ways to organize your medical equipment in these bags. Let me show the inside of this again. So this has also got these smaller channels. I didn't use them on this vehicle metal, medical bag, but these have those smaller areas there at the top. So all in all, great bags. Um, a couple things to mention real quick that I might have forgotten. Um, shears work great in molly webbing if you haven't seen that before you can tuck a pair of medical shears right into molly webbing so that's a great way to carry them also um, again road flares can go at the bottom of this one um, let's see I think I covered everything these are both made out of 1000D Cordura um, get them over at original special operations equipment.com um, I think that's OriginalSOEgear.com is their web address. So check them out. Uh, be sure to check out OSOE's Facebook page. A lot of stuff always happening over there. Good place to hang out. And uh, these come in black coyote, which these are coyote, uh, olive, UCP, uh, multicam, foliage, and khaki. So be sure to check them out. Vehicle medical bag and the medical satchel. It's been an ITS review. Thanks for watching.